Our core promise has always been a simple and unified user experience. At the same time, educators' varied course designs require new features to support them, which is why we've added many features over the years. And now a visual redesign has taken place across all our tools. But don't worry, the functionalities and the student experience stay exactly the same. Only where to find settings has been updated. In this video, we'll showcase how the redesign makes setting up activities easier. And we'll highlight which settings have been renamed or moved to a different section. So firstly, we'll look at the anatomy of the settings in a learning step before overviewing all categories and zooming in on the most prominent updates. Every Feedback Fruits activity is broken down into learning steps, and every step has settings. The main settings with a white background determine what students need to do, while the setting categories with a grey background change how the task is completed. Clicking on and expanding these categories gives access to those secondary settings. Some settings also have subsettings, which only exist when their parent setting is enabled. And upon collapsing each category, the summary text displays which configurations have been made, so that all your changes are visible at a glance. As well as all these settings, some modules contain an explanation about what students need to do, if it's not already obvious from the title. When working with other teachers, you can also add a note to each step to explain the changes you've made. But for now, let's move on to the setting categories. All settings are now consistent across categories, so if you're used to setting up a certain Feedback Fruits tool, you'll find that other tools follow the same formula for configuration. We'll start by looking at which settings have been renamed or moved. First off, in the Instructions module, the Individual or Group Assignment options are now contained under the Student Collaboration category. Setting up how students work with or review each other remains the same. Deadlines also now have their own category. You'll find Scheduling Deadlines for each step in the relevant category, and when choosing an option for This Task Opens or Closes, the Date Picker will appear alongside other options for deadlines. Collapsing this menu will display the date and time chosen for when a task opens or closes. Another setting that's been given its own category is found under Visibility. Here, you can determine when students see their received feedback, choosing a deadline from the date picker, and in Interactive Presentation, the Visibility category contains the options to specify what students can see, as well as whether the audience can participate in live discussions. Next, the Guiding Students category now contains a space to leave additional instructions for certain steps, as well as setting up feedback tips, review checklists, and other ways of supporting deeper, critical feedback between students. As well as these updates, you can find other familiar settings in new categories, such as Anonymity, which can be set for submission and review steps separately, File Requirements, where you can toggle admissible file types, Copyright Protection, which determines student access to material. Allocations, where you can set up automatic or manual assignment of work and peers. Subtitles, to add or change these in interactive video. And Grading Options, where you can configure everything to do with grading apart from allocating points. These changes were made according to your feedback, and you can expect upcoming features to appear under these categories. For more resources or inspiration on how to set up these activities for success, check out our Help Center and website, or chat to us directly. Our team of expert supporters are available 24 hours a day, every weekday, so don't be afraid to get in touch and see the fruits of your feedback.